Hey everybody, we estimated it here, and today I'm going to show you how to use NV Flash to flash a BIOS onto your graphics card. Alright guys, so what we're going to want to do is after we've downloaded NV Flash, which I will leave a link down in the description of the video, um, you'll want to navigate to wherever you put the files at. I have it up in the C directory, or the C, uh, my C drive, under a folder that I named NV Flash to better... Um, find out and be able to figure out where it's at more easily. Uh, if we go here, we'll go to Maxwell BIOS Tweaker. This will allow us to tweak the BIOS of our uh, graphics card here. Uh, what you want to do is to get this BIOS program right here, or this BIOS ROM, what you want to do is you want to go to your, um, let's see here, we want to go to GPU Z, and you can pull the BIOS from it by clicking right here. Save BIOS. You'll click that, and you'll click Save to File. Uh, you'll click Yes. It's going to automatic. It's going to ask you where you want to save it to. You can save it here, GM204.ROM. After you've got that saved, then you can go ahead and pull it up inside of Maxwell BIOS Tweaker the GM204 you can see right here it says GM204 we have the vendor right here date that it was last edited <clears throat> as well as the checksum values so here we've got our information for the BIOS we've got the base clock 3D base clock boost clock max temp target temp target uh, memory clock all those different things I usually do uh, to go through with uh, overclocking here on this graphics card, which is the 970. We will go down here to the power table, and we'll find out because this card's maximum power target is 106%. Uh, we don't want that because it doesn't give us that great of an overclock. So what we can do here, we find all the values on max milliwatts, uh, where it says 106%. So these three right here then what we'll do is we'll go here and we will change this value uh, by clicking the little arrows right here uh, and you'll see the percentage go does increase as you click the up arrow so what we'll do here is we'll go to let's say 133 percent sure why not and I'll go here and we'll up, up this one up to 133 percent and then we'll also up this one to 133 percent So there we've got these all at 133%. Um, as for the voltage table, I'm still trying to figure out all the uh, minor, uh, little small things about it. I haven't really gotten everything to where it uh, needs to be at. I don't 100% know what everything should be on here, but I am still trying to figure that out. As I figure this out, I will um, kind of... Uh, maybe put out a new video on how to edit the voltage table and all that but for right now all we're going to do is do the power table um, I can show you a few, th a few different things about the voltage table and how that correlates with different things so if you look down here you'll see clock 47 that's the all the different clock states for your graphics card <coughs> See, you'll see here at the maximum clock rate it outputs 1281.3 millivolts uh, if you go over here to your boost table You'll see right here you have clock number 74. This correlates to how much voltage will be on your card at uh, at clock state 74, which on the default it would be 1418 for your um, clock speed of, bo of the boost clock. Uh, boost states, I don't 100% know what all this means, neither do I know what clock states, uh, what any of this stuff in here means. So we'll just skip over that for now so what we'll do right here is we'll save the BIOS uh, we'll save it here as youtube.rom to make sure that's a .rom file uh, I have it already set up to save as a .rom file yours may be set up differently but uh, I always just put .rom in the end of it just to make sure that I'm saving it correctly so what we'll do then we'll go into our device manager uh, if you're on Windows 7 it's uh, relatively easy you'll just um, 
go to a search bar and you can type in down here device man oops, I can spell it right device manager and then it'll pop up and show you device manager uh, Windows 8 Windows 10 you've got it really easy you can just go down here and right click and open up this menu you'll see device manager right here um, so we'll go over here to display drive, uh, display adapters you'll be able to click your graphics card you want to disable that before you do anything else afterwards you can close that out you can go into your command prompt as admin um, you can do the same thing if you do uh, the search bar in Windows 7 and then you right click uh, after you type in CMD into the search bar you'll right click command prompt and then you will open up as administrator you'll see a window something like this uh, from here we can go through and do our commands here if you set it up the same way that I did all you'll need to do is type in CD for change directory and then you do C colon forward slash NV flash that'll automatically change the directory to the NV flash folder and then we can go into there and then type in NV flash 64 because that's what the file name is if you look in here we'll see NV flash we're looking at this exe here um, that will point at that exe you don't need to type in exe uh, if you type in .exe, it's going to do the same thing as if you did not type in .exe. So we'll go here to negative 6 for the uh, value that we want in here. Uh, if you, for whatever reason, if you just do this, it's going to show you all the different commands that you can type in. And you'll see all the commands right here for this, as well as uh, some other commands that they show you, etc., etc., for the program. Um, you'll see right here, you'll see override sub six that's our command that we want to use right there uh, that just allows the firmware and adapter pci subsystem id to, to mismatch uh, so again if we go over here to nv flash negative six and then we type in our rom name which is youtube.rom and we press enter we'll see some information here uh, we've got nvidia firmware update utility modified version by joe dirt he's the guy who made the uh, certification uh, go around loop whole thing um, get some more information that pretty much you just need to make sure that it matches etc etc actually doesn't need to be need to match down here because we did the mismatch ID so then we'll click yes or for Y we'll press Y to confirm you'll hear a beep um, after that you'll know that uh, it's going to work correctly because you'll see that it's starting to identify EP EP ROM and then you'll see ver verifying update and update successful firmware image has been updated from version such and such to such and such um, and a reboot is required so we'll need to exit out of the command prompt by typing in exit uh, we'll close out of here and then we will restart the computer So, after we've got the computer restarted, you'll see that the resolution is really shitty. Oop, that is not my password. Alright. So then we will go into here and we will be able to restart our device here for our 970. So you'll click Enable inside a device manager. Uh, you'll see that it's enabled correctly. We'll go down here and I have... An, Afterburner set to automatically start up. We don't want Steam to start up right now, so we can close that out. Head up here to Tools, because that's where I have this set up at, and we'll open up MSI Afterburner. That way I can show you what we're looking at here. So, our maximum here is going to say 62 millivolts on our core voltage. Uh, we'll bump this up, see we have our 133 power limit percent. Um, and we will go ahead and put on an overclock real quick. We'll just go ahead and do my overclock that I usually use on this card because I am pretty sure it will work correctly. So then what we'll do is we'll go into benchmarks and open up Heaven Benchmark. That will show us our um, 
statistics here that way we can see an accurate representation of what we've got performance wise yep we moved over too far all right so you're seeing here that we've got 1556 on our base or our uh, clock here Uh, we've got 1250 millivolts. Our power percentage here hitting about 122. Um, we could probably bump this up to like 260 maybe. And really, you're just going to want to keep going until you start seeing um, a whole bunch of uh, artifacting, which probably at this megahertz, it will, you'll be able to see that. Uh, let me pop over to the actual part where it starts doing that. All right, so you'll see these little squares start to pop up here. Um, you might not have seen it, but if you look right around in this area right here, You'll see the little triangles appear. That's artifacting. Uh, that's how you know that it's not a very good overclock. Uh, it's not going to be that stable. And I will now show you exactly what happens whenever your overclock is not stable and it crashes on you, or your dri video driver crashes on you, in case uh, nobody's seen that before. Um, so we will go into our benchmarks again, open up Furmark. And we will do a 1440p test. And here we go. And that's what happens. Well, this pop-up doesn't happen, but you see this down here where it says display driver stop responding, has recovered. That's pretty much what happens whenever your display driver crashes and your overclock is not stable at all. Um, you'll see that whenever you uh, maybe sometimes whenever you're playing a game and if you've run uh, Heaven for a while or something like that um, uh, Heaven isn't really something that you would use to uh, test the stability of an overclock you would do something like Furmark uh, it's gonna put even more of a strain on your GPU than any other program would um, that way you know that your benchmark is going to be uh, pretty much rock steady. So if we go down to 200 again, you'll see if we open up for a mark again and we run through the test on it, you'll see this time that it more than likely won't crash on me. So we're running through the benchmark here on Furmark. Everything's going good. Everything's working correctly. We're hitting our 133% power limit here. Uh, fan 50%. We've got 1354 megahertz on the core clock. We're running about 40 degrees Celsius, 39 degrees Celsius. Um, and the whole reason why we're not hitting the higher clock speed that we were before is because Firmark puts such a strain on the GPU that uh, the, it maxes out the voltage before it can actually go through with uh, hitting any kind of uh, limit here. Like we're seeing it drops down to 131% TDP, 140% uh, TDP, that's because it's using up all the power. So you can see here we've hit 141 degrees Celsius. Um, we got our our uh, score here of 29.24 points. Um, this is just some information about my computer down here, and we could we could submit this to the online score center, but we're not going to because it doesn't matter too much. So, anyways, that's how you put on a new BIOS with NV Flash. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, feel free to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'll try to get to them as quickly as possible. Or you can send me a message over on Twitter. My information is in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video.